what is up guys so I was asked about my top five favorite $300 smartphone so let's go ahead and run down the list my favorite phone on this list is still the LG V40 brand new you can pick this guy up for 300 bucks all links will be down below and I absolutely love this phone at this price point I think it's a uh, really great uh, you do have a premium design it's an aluminum frame glass back you have an IP rating so you can get this phone wet and it won't break immediately and you also have a P OLED display it's a 6.4 inch display 1440p display 537 for the ppi absolutely a beautiful display here you get very punchy colors deep blacks and i just love the display on this it's super sharp uh this is upgradable to android 10 but depending on whether you're on the at&t version or unlocked version i think mine's is the sprint version uh the update varies so i know people have got it on at&t haven't got it unlocked so uh, you will get the update eventually uh, but you do have the snapdragon 845 in the adreno 630 on here basically this makes it a very very good gaming phone so you can play games on high have a full gaming test fortnite call of duty PUBG, whatever you will be able to play on high settings so it can handle pretty much most games no problem uh, you do have micro SD support in 64 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM so this phone runs uh, relatively smooth so I never had issues really with performance or multitasking on this phone you have the 3.5 millimeter jack with the quad DAC so very uh, nice audio experience on here also a very good speaker on this phone as well it gets pretty loud uh, you do have NFC on board Bluetooth 5.0 as well so I really love that the fingerprint scanner on the Back is super fast and the camera setup on this phone uh, is pretty decent it's a 12 megapixel standard 12 megapixel telephoto and a 60 megapixel ultra wide you get 4k 30 or 60 fps video uh, with actually a dual camera setup up front it's an 8 megapixel standard and they have a 5 megapixel wide angle lens as well uh, so basically the camera by itself is fine especially the stock camera app but if you throw gcam on this phone you can get even better uh, photos uh, better portrait photos and um, overall I just really like the cameras on here they're nice detail and they've aged uh, fairly well so I really like uh, that so I guess like the weakest thing or not so weak but you have a 3300 milliamp battery 18 watt fast charging with wireless charging uh, if you see my drain test this phone gets around seven hours of screen on time which I think is pretty good uh, I usually can get through the whole day with this phone you're just gonna have to charge it you know by the end of the day uh, but yeah so pretty decent battery life next is the realme 6 pro i really enjoyed this phone so it's got a glass back plastic frame it feels super uh premium in the hand it has a nice weight to it which is something that i really like and um this phone has an ips display it's a 6.6 .6 inch display 1080p 399 for the ppi but the kind of unique thing about this phone at this price point is it has a 90 hertz display and that is one of the things i really like so if you're just really into uh high refresh rates then definitely look at this phone uh it's just super smooth when you're just scrolling through the UI scrolling through apps uh, games that support 90 Hertz is gonna look really great on this phone now you do have the double punch hole which um, it wasn't a big problem for me uh, once I got used to it uh, it wasn't really you know a thing so um, you do have Android 10 on top of the realme UI which is very fast it reminds me of uh, Xiaomi's UI and it just has packed with a ton of features uh, that you can mess around with and play with customization stuff uh, it is a lot of stuff going on there so you do have the snapdragon 720g and adreno 618 so you can do some gaming on this phone no problem i did not have a problem with gaming now of course you're not going to be able to max everything out uh, but you can do a gaming no problem on this phone uh, i do have a gaming test if you want to see that now uh, this phone does have micro sd support along with 64 gigs of storage and 6 gigs of ram now this phone does have a uh, headphone jack you also have a pretty decently loud speaker as well uh, you do have a Bluetooth 5.1 actually and you actually have NFC on this phone as well for mobile payments uh, what I love about this phone is the fingerprint scanner is side mounted which is really nice so you can get to it really fast and it works great and I really love that it's in that spot it's one of my favorite uh, implementations of that uh, so you do have a quad camera setup it's a 64 megapixel wide a 12 megapixel telephoto 8 megapixel ultra wide 
wide and a 2 megapixel macro you have 4k video you actually have that dual a uh, selfie punch hole cut out at 16 megapixels then an 8 megapixel ultra wide as you can see from the photos it takes some pretty uh, decent pictures I had no issues with the uh, photos they were uh, nice and vibrant colors uh, you also get pretty good dynamic range uh, the uh, detail is there as well so I didn't have any real issues with this phone for a mid-ranger it takes the photos that I would expect it to uh, you do have a 4300 milliamp battery uh, with 30 watt fast charging which is something that I really like so it charges uh, pretty fast and uh, you can definitely get a day and a half if not two days if you're a light user of battery life on this phone so I really like this option next is the Samsung Galaxy A51 this phone has been really awesome since it came out out. Uh, so it does have a plastic design on here but it has a really nice design as you can see with these psychedelic colors uh, the camera module is really nice looking uh, overall I still like the design even though it's not you know a glass phone or anything like that uh, one of the things this phone has is a super AMOLED display it's a 6.5 inch 1080p display 405 for the PPI beautiful display very color accurate uh, colors are really punchy it's just really nice to look at Samsung makes some of the best displays and you do have a tiny little punch hole cut out at the middle which I absolutely love it's the next best thing to a full screen display uh, so you have Android 10 with One UI 2.1 on here what I love about this phone is that you get a ton of software updates and security patches um, so it's just awesome that Samsung supports their phones uh, so much you have the Xenos 9611 in the Mali uh, G72 basically it's you know a mid-tier chip uh, again you will be able to game on here just fine I have a gaming test if you guys want to check that out as well and uh, you can play pretty much uh, most games on high to medium settings no problem uh, so I did not have any performance issues with this phone it runs uh, relatively smooth you do have micro SD support 64 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM on this phone uh, you do have the headphone jack and a pretty decently loud speaker on here Bluetooth 5.0 with uh, NFC on board for your mobile payments. You actually have a in-display fingerprint scanner on this phone, which I really love. I think that's uh, really cool to have on any phone. Now, it's not going to be faster than a physical fingerprint scanner, uh, but if you do it right, it works 100% of the time, no problem. Uh, this phone probably has one of the best cameras uh, on this list. You have a 48 megapixel wide, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor shoots in 4k 32 megapixel selfie uh, you get some very punchy colors on here the classic Samsung color uh, dynamic range is really good detail is there uh, these are some just some really great uh, pictures that you can get out of the a51 and Samsung is always improving the uh, camera software and stuff like that the image processing so uh, this is just a super solid camera uh, especially for video as well I think it takes some pretty good video too uh, you do have a 4000 milliamp battery with a 15 watt fast charging now I can easily get through a day uh, with this phone but I would rate it at about like a day and a half I wouldn't say two days of battery life at all uh, but you can definitely get uh, some really solid battery life out of here so this is not a phone you're going to be running to the charger with next the newest edition is the Moto G9 Plus now I've been enjoying this phone even though there are some things that are a little iffy about it now you do have a plastic design on here which is a pretty big phone it's a heavy phone so it does not really feel cheap it has kind of like a matted uh, texture to the back so you don't pick up a lot of fingerprints which is something that I like you have the trendy camera design as well which is something that I love as well uh, now here's the best part about this phone it's a 6.81 inch display the display is absolutely massive it's the biggest display uh, on this list it's just a huge phone in general uh, so if you like big phones for 300 bucks this is one of the biggest that you can get uh, it's 1080p 386 for the PPI uh, you have the little punch hole uh, on the top left and uh, the display is fine I love it uh, like I said it's massive uh, it gets fairly bright colors are pretty vibrant as well you get a stock version of Android 10 with moto uh, actions built into it so you have all of the gestures and customization uh, stuff you can do on here the Snapdragon 730G and the Adreno 618 is actually a pretty nice combo on here if you watch my gaming test you can play uh, to high to medium settings no problem on this phone so I did not have an issue with gaming really at all it's a very snappy phone now you do have micro SD support 128 gigs of internal storage and 4 gigs of RAM you do have the headphone jack NFC is on board uh, you also have the fingerprint 
the scanner side mounted which is really nice so i love uh, all phones that do that uh, now the downside to this phone is the camera so you have a quad camera setup is a 64 megapixel wide 8 megapixel ultra wide 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor 4k video and then you have that selfie camera at 16 megapixels 1080p uh, so basically the cameras are okay they're not great um, there's just not a lot of detail colors don't seem super vibrant and um, yeah it's the same thing for video and the front facing camera it's just not a lot of detail it's lacking so it's just not the same camera we saw with the G8 power or the G8 plus uh, which is a downside but I do like the upgrades that they made with this phone especially the uh, 5000 milliamp battery is huge you have 30 watt fast charging so this phone lasts for you know, a long time at least two days of battery life you can squeeze out of this phone uh, no issues at all so I really love this phone if you're looking for a just gigantic phone last on the list is the oneplus 6t this phone has really flown under the radar uh, if you get it on eBay it is really cheap like around 150 bucks uh, right now in the refurbished uh, market if you want to go there uh, so this phone has a very premium design it's glass back aluminum frame just feels really nice uh, in the hand you have the uh, optic AMOLED display on here as well it's a 6.41 inch display 1080p 402 for the PPI again beautiful uh, water drop notch display very color accurate punchy colors uh, you do have Android 10 with Oxygen OS 10.3.1 and I absolutely love Oxygen OS it's one of my favorite skins it's very clean very fast gets a lot of updates and uh, there's a lot of customization and features in here as well that I think are really useful you have the Snapdragon 845 and Adreno 630 again this is another phone that you can play games on high with uh, no problem at all so this phone does not have any expandable storage which kind of sucks but you have 128 gigs of internal storage and 6 gigs of RAM now the speaker is pretty decently loud but this phone does not have a headphone jack uh, which kind of sucks uh, now you do have NFC on board as well for mobile payment you actually have an in display fingerprint scanner which is pretty fast which is something that I really love you have a dual camera setup 16 megapixel and a 20 megapixel lens 4k video 16 megapixel selfie camera the cameras on here are actually very good you get really nice color uh, detail is really sharp as well dynamic range uh, everything about these photos I just really like so this is one of the better uh, you know camera phones on a smartphone at this price point to me uh, you do have a 3700 milliamp battery with 20 watt fast charging uh, basically the battery life is really good on here you can get through a day of battery life uh, no problem I would have it at like a day day and a half depending on how you use it but thanks for watching let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one